Hello and welcome to Alpin's YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you some basic usage of a free and uh, very useful software called Paint.net. As I said, it is a free alternative to Photoshop in the first place, of course. It is much, much limited than Photoshop, but it's free and it can do you a job, very good job for many of your website projects, blogs, or social profiles. And almost anyone can use it to, to create some beautiful images for your internet projects. This interface is what you're going to see when you open PaintPoint.net software. Of course, down in description, you have a link uh, to download the software so you can install it. And it can be used only on the Windows machines. Remember that. Here, up in the right corner, you have these little icons. And first, click this tools palette and color palette see this <sighs> here we are so what we can do with this software first of all we can draw and create objects and text and shapes on our own we don't always have to use uh, already pre-made images to manipulate so here it is i will close this project so we can start all over this icon when you click on it show a dialogue when you can do some basic settings of your new project with height here it is so this little icon is very useful to create transparent images just click on it click here and press delete on your keyboard see now you have a transparent background or click this little tool and feel background color on the color palette you see you have two options primary and secondary color for now we will use just this primary and just change the color you want like this or if you want to do a gradient background then just click this little icon see hold your mouse and do like this see the magic now uh, we will set this for a primary color and then click on secondary see see how it works beautiful beautiful now of course there is a paintbrush and you can set the width of paintbrush and do like this see now you can change any color you want uh, you can do text first of all any font you have installed on your windows machine can be used here see and set the font size and just type anything and it works like that and you can place it by grabbing this wherever you want like this there are shapes of course very important part of this software first of all see this click on it and a warrior shapes that you can use will show of course basic usage is an empty background with lines but here you can change it to solid background and so on 
So basically that's it for now about uh, drawing and making your own object. Now we're gonna close this and of course and we're gonna open some image, any image and like this. What we can do with this? Basic things. We can resize it. Now this is very important option, maintain aspect ratio. Now it is unclicked, so it means if I change the width, it will not automatically set height, like this. But if I click on it and change, let's say, the width, it will make perfect height for it also. Or I can do it by percentage like this uh, for with a rectangle too I can crop any part of image and click this see beautiful and uh, layers it will not be covered in this tutorial we will cover it in the next one adjustments you can do just wait a second Adjustments. We can try to do auto level. It works sometimes, sometimes it does not. Here, does not. But maybe you will like it like this. And you can turn it to black and white or do some brightness contrast like this. Whatever suits you. Or hue saturation. This is very beautiful and handy sometimes. See what it does. It just changed the basic colors of your image that you can adjust with this and things like that. Well, basically, that's it for now. We will cover layers and some other possibilities in our next tutorial. See ya!